Hi, I am Professor Francisco F. Lupantay Jr. and I'm the Vice President of Academic Affairs of the Concepcion College. So for this episode, this is part of the online class tutorial series na inihanda ng pamunuan ng La Concepcion College para suportahan at tulungan ng ating mga students, teachers, parents, and guardians para sa isang smooth na online class. Ang online class ay parte ng flexible teaching learning delivery options na inihahanda ng La Concepcion College para sa taong 2020-2021. Ngayon, sa episode na to, ang pag-uusapan natin ay ang isang Google product na gagamitin sa isang online class na tinatawag natin Google Meet. Now, alamin natin kung ano ba talaga ang Google Meet. Ano ba ang meron sa Google Meet? Now, ang Google Meet ay, as mentioned, produkto ng Google that lets the users to have a video conferencing or video communication that can be downloaded using mobile device or can be used in a desktop computer. Now, nabanggit ko sa nakaraan nating series na kahit cellphone ay sapat na para masagawa natin ng isang online class. Now, para saan ba yung Google at Google Meet? Ano ang relasyon nito sa isang online class? So, doon papasok yung konsepto ng synchronous learning. So, synchronous learning is a concept in distance education wherein teachers and students are physically separated but have will meet at the same time. So meaning, the instruction or teaching ang pagtuturo at ang pag-uusap ni teacher at ni student ay nagaganap ng magkasabay na oras. So ang mga tools na pwede natin gamitin or methods na pwede natin gamitin sa ilalim ng synchronous ay live chat, video stream, teleconferencing, video conferencing, kung saan doon pumapasok ang Google Meet sa isang video conferencing. Para mas maintindihan pa natin tong video conferencing na konsepto na to, magkaroon tayo ngayon ng live demo gamit ang Google Meet. Now, ang gagamitin natin para sa demo natin ngayon ay desktop computer. So, kung makikita natin dito sa side, sa bandang kaliwa, nandito yung ating notes. Sa bandang kanan naman, nandito yung ating desktop computer. So, ating alamin yung steps. So, first step number one, pwede natin gamitin ng Google Meet using a browser, using desktop. So, type lang natin sa ating uh, address bar, yung meet.google.com. So, kung type natin siya, so, it's just meet google.com So, this is the landing interface. Ayan. So, pwede rin naman sa cellphone. Mamaya papakita ko kung paano siya. Uh, unahin muna natin ngayon yung puro desktop tutorial. Pag sa cellphone, kailangan lang i-download siya sa App Store or Play Store. Now, kailangan piliin mo lang kung anong account yung gagamitin mo. Paano yun sa desktop? Dito yun sa taas. This one. Ipiliin mo kung anong account yung gagamitin mo. So, ang gagamitin ko, this is a student account who is uh, below 13 years old account. So, may option yung uh, student to start a meeting or join a meeting. So, for the purpose of online class, since students uh, can all only join if they have uh, uh, an existing code na ginawa ng teacher. Pero mamaya, para masimula natin yung mobile phone, mag-start tayo na meeting gamit ang desktop computer. So, kiklik lang natin yung new meeting. So, yeah, for step one, same siya. Sa so, step two kasi, uh, pagka nag-new meeting na tayo, we just have to click instant meeting kapag tayo yung mag-host. Pero pag mag-join tayo, papakita ka sa desktop, kung, sa mobile phone kung paano siya. So, instant meeting tayo. So, here, you can adjust the settings of the device that you will use. So, here, my uh, browser is asking me to access my camera and my microphone. So, pwede mo siyang i-mute, i-on. So, for this purpose, Pakita ka lang pagka naka-on siya. Ayan. Nakikita mo uh, na uh, ba-bounce yung wave, waves niya. This one. If you can see, that means hello, hello, 
nare-register niya, nare-read niya yung boses. Pero pag nakamute, hello, wala. Wala siyang wave. And this is the camera. Pag naka-on, hi. So that's me. Uh, off lang natin siya. Tapos pwede mo rin i-adjust. Pwede kang pumili ng camera sa settings uh, and video. And even the quality. Pwede mong piliin. So meaning, bago ka pa mag-start sa video conference, pwede ka nang mag-prepare. So you just have to click join now if you are a student or you will be um, joining or creating a meeting. So join now. So for step three, you can now go over with the parts of the Google Meet. So yung settings, so dito yung sa baba, yung kaninang pinakita natin sa settings, yung may tatlong tool dock. So, ito yun. So, pwede mong i-adjust yung layout. So, for the layout, it's always auto initially, pero pwede mo siyang iset. So, ang magandang uh, layout is change layout is this one kapag ka marami kayo, yung tiled, pero sidebar pag may nagpe-present. So, normally, um, tiled is enough. Pagka puro tao lang yun nandun sa Twitter. Next, uh, another, you can also present if you will be presenting a slideshow or your screen. Uh, turn on captions is not really appropriate and up for us kasi nagtatagalog tayo sa call. Maganda to pag English na, uh, ano niya, na detect niya, subtitles. So here's the control for camera for leaving the call and you can also share the details here. Pwede yung attachments pag ikaw mag-a-attach uh, mag yung teacher mo. Ito kasi hindi makapag-attach yung user na to kasi below 13 years old. Sa taas, makikita natin din yung chat box. This one. And uh, this is the chat box. And this one is the chat box. And this one are the participants in the video. Okay? So ako lang yung participant. Now, for step four, if you would like to leave the call, so these are the parts, I mentioned ka na. So if you would like to leave the call, you click mo lang yung leave, pero pwede ka rin pumalik. So, kung sino yung huling umalis, uh, may iwan pa rin siya doon. So if you are the teacher, magandang ikaw yung huling umalis para ma-sure mo na wala nang may iwan sa loob ng no, uh, conference. Okay? So having that said, magpakita tayo ngayon ng tutorial. Uh, gamit ang uh, kopyahin natin yung uh, details ng meeting uh, copy natin tapos isend natin gamit ang um, uh, mobile phone so what I will do I will just be linking my phone in this screen para makita natin kung paano siya so, pakita ko pa rin siya na step-by-step step na kamukha ng ginagawa natin. Ginawa natin kanina sa desktop from step 1 to step 4. Okay? So, we just have to show our phone. This is a simile. This is a mirror, screen mirror of my phone. So na install ko na siya. Uh, kung ida download mo lang siya din sa Play Store or App Store. So for this purpose, um, we, I have here the code, yung code kanina. Pubuksan ko lang yung Google Meet. Tapos pipiliin ko lang yung account na gagamitin ko. So, you can see and that's me. Hi. So, off ka lang yung camera. Saka so, off ka yung audio. Uh, the next, uh, I will join with a code. Kasi kanina may code yung meeting natin. So, tatype ka lang yan. So, zoom natin para makita nyo kung paano siya. I am joining now with a code.
let's record. So I just have to join because I'm not the host. So ask to join. So I'm asking to join. I have to wait for my teacher to approve uh, the class. Uh, approve me in the class. So yeah, in approve me teacher there. So you can see, pakita ko yung desktop side by side. So this is my mobile phone. On ko yung camera para ma kita nyo. So here, pag kayo on yung camera, tap mo lang yung screen. This one. So on ko yung camera. So there. So pwede rin siyang pahiga. So, yan. Para mas malapat siya. So naka, nakahiga yung phone ko para malapat siya dun sa screen na, na desktop. Um, here you can also um no wala yung phone. So here sa phone um okay, uh the, the, the interface. So these are the participants. This one and this is the chat. So let's chat. And so nakita niyo nakita dito. Magreply naman tong isa. Uh, reply ko naman, what's up? See? Nabasa yung what's up. Now, um, for phone, pwede ka rin, may settings din siya. Here, pwede rin mag-present. Pwede ko ipakita yung screen ko. So, pwede ko i-broadcast yung screen ng phone ko. So, start broadcast ka lang. This is like presentation of the PowerPoint. Kung wala kang laptop or teacher ka or student na walang laptop, you would like to broadcast your phone. Supposed to be, it should be working. But now it's not working because it's being recorded by this application. But most likely it should work. So if you'd like to end, so halimbawa, de ba yun yung host? Magleave yung host. So magleave tong laptop, ay yung desktop. So kapag magleave, si na even parin siya. Pwede rin siyang magjoin alat. Pag nere join niya. join now. So, nakabalik na siya. So, see? You can still go back kapag na-disconnect ka. And that's the step 4. So, most likely, uh, those are the steps needed for uh, an online class. Pero, ano naman yung mga rules natin kapag nasa isang online class ka na? So, let's go over now with some of the rules na dapat na meron tayo kapag ka meron tayo online class. What I will be sharing now is some of the rules in uh, having an online class. So, here... Uh, ang rules na ipapakita ko include the dress code. So, what are the acceptable dress code when uh, in an online class? So, you can wear your uniform, but it's not really restricted to wear uniform. Uh, T-shirts, jacket or cardigan, uh, polo, blouse, uh, T-shirt, uh, and even uh, blouse for girls. Ano yung mga hindi allowed? So, hindi allowed ng sandal, uh, spaghetti strap, hindi allowed ng naka-sunglasses, naka-cap, um, naka-wig or naka-sando um, and of course, naka-hubad. Hindi yan adawin. So, ano, na ba, ano ba yung mga rules natin or etiquette? So, when entering an online class, 
you should mute your microphone. And if you would like to ask questions, use the chat feature. And then uh, when you would like to contribute something, you can contribute using the chat feature or raise your hand or wait for your turn unless otherwise the teacher call you for the recitation or participation. And then you should stay attentive. Now, uh, that concludes our uh, presentation on a Google product, which is uh, Google Meet. So, mag-abang pa tayo ng iba pa nating Google products na i-demonstrate natin for our uh, online class tutorial series. So, kung may tanong kayo tungkol sa Google Meet, you can practice and of course um, engage with your classmates, your family, and your teachers para pagdating ng online class natin. Ready, ready na tayo. So, uh, yun lang. Maraming salamat. Bye!